It is another day in paradise. I have not been near Smuggler's Blues for over five weeks because it's been so crazy busy. So it's very much towards the end of the season now. Boat's coming out in about 10 days time. So we thought we ought to have a last run out. Now Marianne's busy with the kids today. So Sean and Elaine have come down with me. Here they are. And what we're going to do is we're going to head out into the bay. There's quite a few cruise ships in the bay, so we're going to go and have a look at those and see what's about. But there's a couple of things that I need to show you first of all. The first is my new fender. And my friend Dave Bullock from Coastal Marine Services is doing dock fenders. So he's made me one for my boat with Aquaholic on it. So we've got that across the back now. Traditionally, when we came in, we had this fender on the back just to protect the back of the boat if it came in a bit fast. Now we don't need to bother because we can take that off. And this is a soft squidgy. I won't stand on it. Fender, and in fact, we also have the very first corner fender because I asked if we could put one on the front, and they said we don't normally, but we'll have a go. So, there we go, we've got corner fender. So, again, as we come in, it just protects the boat nicely. So, if you want one of those for your boat, I will put a link to Dave in the description and you can give him a shout. And the other thing that I need to introduce to you quickly before we go if you've been watching my videos, you'll have seen that Maggie has a new friend, and I asked you guys to come up with a name for the new friend, and we have. So, this. <laughs> <laughs> is but I can't sit next to him Jack Le Sac so it's French spelling Jack Le Sac because Sac of course is French for a bag so there we go so not replacing Maggie just helping out anyway that's enough preamble let's go boating so Sean is being Marianne today and I shall touch him inappropriately later so we're getting the fenders in and we're actually quite blessed with the weather it's breezy but it is offshore, so it should be fairly sheltered and, uh, and a bit of sunshine and clouds, so it could be a lot worse. <laughs> I think people are getting used to me. Bless them. So we have cruise ships straight out there. Those two and there's some more around the corner. So we're going to head around there next. Go and have a little look. Oh, it's true. I didn't even see the third one as we were driving yeah. along. I know, it's I amazing. Said, oh, there's only two there. It was blended in with the coastline. Oh, yeah. yeah. So we're warming the engine up nice and gently because it's the first time it's run for a month. I was very pleased when it started first time. But uh, we're up for temperature now, so we're going to build on some revs. Go do some boating. appeared through the gap between the rock and the headland there. Massive one. I'm going to take a look at that. Just vast, isn't it? Unbelievable. Huge. Floating palace. Yeah, <laughs> floating something. <laughs> ghost ship. Yeah, it is a ghost ship. Azura.
well. Yeah. <laughs> Those must be the cabins to have on the back, mustn't they? That's going to be great to sit there. Amazing. It's cruising down the coast. Yeah. Yeah, they're probably the VIP ones. Yeah. Great to get it in the sunshine. Yeah. And it's the, the thing that's really spooky is it doesn't move at all. It's like it's anchored to the bottom, or yeah. sat on the bottom, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, that's it doesn't rock. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay, so we are about, where are we? Two miles offshore here. And there's another one in there. So we're gonna look at that one and I think we're gonna head back into the bay. There's another one up there, but I think very much it's still fairly choppy out here. Rather than get covered in salt and spray, we'll go and look at this one and then we'll head back into the bay. So this is the Ventura. Well, having had a look at Ventura, we're pretty sure that is the Queen Mary 2 up there. It's a bit of a way away. It is a bit calmer in here. We're thinking we might just have a little pump up to see if we can get to it, because it'd be nice to go and see it certainly not dangerous in this sort of conditions it's just maybe a bit uncomfortable and wet so we're going to give it a go and if you find it's not very nice we'll just turn around and come back again because we're going into the weather it's always going to be much calmer going the other way so at least you know that you can always turn around and turn the sea down anyway let's go and have a look see what we can do Staying in shore a little bit, where it's a bit more sheltered and the ride is a little bit more comfortable. And the boat we want to see, or the ship we want to see, is out there. So we're going to ride up along the coast, then we'll head out to it, see if we can go and take a look at it, because that is quite a spectacular ship. It would be nice to go and see it while we're out here. There she is, Queen Mary II, part of the Cunard line. I know a joke about Cunard, but it's a bit rude, so uh, <laughs> Google it. But works for Cunard. Google joke works for Cunard. It makes me laugh. Anyway, back to the Queen Mary. As cruise ships go, that is quite elegant, isn't it? Yeah, I think you're right, definitely. And it looks, it British. doesn't look like a sort of a block of flats like the other no. ones, does it? It's no. a, a bit more of a ship line a to it than a classic yeah. ship. Classic. It's very British, it's colour scheme. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'd love to tour that one. Yeah, that would be impressive, wouldn't it? Yeah. I did write to Canard and ask if I could, but I never got a reply. <laughs> That's a shame. Probably they heard your joke. <laughs> 
<laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> if I'm going on a lifeboat, I want the one with the windows. <laughs> yes. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Not sure which is worse. Yeah, you don't often get close to these, do you? No. Normally out in the middle of the ocean no. somewhere or in some exotic yeah. port. Yeah. Yeah. You don't normally see them around Torquay, that's for sure. It could do with a little spruce up a paint. I was I just think. about to say exactly that. It could do with a little bit of dry dock attention, couldn't it? But yeah. I suspect at the minute they don't want to spend any money. No. Incredible, it's so still. Yeah. It looks like it's just sat on the bottom. It does, it does, yeah, absolutely Not right. Moving. Yeah, look how much rougher it is on this side to that side. Yeah. Site, isn't it? Yeah. I'm glad we came out here now. Yeah. I was just thinking we went out that first one, I thought it's getting a little bit choppy, yeah. but it's alright. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I bet that guy enjoyed us when you met him. Made his day, yeah. 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 Keep in contact. Yeah. Yeah. Send help. <laughs> Been on here for a year. Be your turn to drive. Yay! You never get to drive. You never get to drive. Here you go. You have to me. No problem. Okay, so what we would like is we would like um it's entirely up to you. I prefer to stand personally, you can yeah, see better, yeah, but yeah, I just can't see down there. <laughs> so we're gonna take the revs here up yep. to about two six. Okay. So just past there, yep. two six, two seven. Is it forwards? Yeah, push it forwards. And we're going to head, see Berry Head? Yeah. Head straight for that. Go on, go for it, be brave. So that was the Queen Mary too, that was quite exciting to see that. I'm glad we came out there in the end. Now we're heading back down. That was the first cruise ship we visited out there. And then we went to that one over there. What we're doing this time is heading back into Torbay and round. And there's another three cruise ships in there. So we're going to check those out. And Elaine is at the helm, looking good.
have three cruise ships in the bay. I don't know what they are, but we'll soon find out. We're going to have a little look. First one is dead ahead. I don't know how you can see it actually because it's quite silhouetted against the land behind it but we'll see it a bit clearer when we get a bit closer. And the Queen Mary 2 now, well she's pretty much out of sight but there's the other two are right out over there. We've covered a bit of ground, in fact there it is. Something alive. You've got better eyesight than me, that's all I can say. <laughs> I can see a boat. Oh yeah, yeah, the net's at the top, yeah, you're right. I thought it's either an Avery or... <laughs> no, I don't think it's an Avery, mate. <laughs> it's the replacement of the uh, Coral Island. Yeah. So this is the, what's it called? Westerdam. Westerdam, it is, it says the Holland America Line. And we think this one was in Miami, we heard from somewhere. Did you say it was Miami? Florida, yeah. So we think this has come over from Florida and it's now sheltering here in the bay. Because there isn't much cruising going on at the minute for obvious reasons. Okay, what have we got left? Two more. Two more. Go, sir. Okay, let's do it. Which one first? I think this one over here first. No problem, I shall wind it up a little bit. Go for it. Two seven. So this one we found now is the Volodam, and this one we believe was when the Corona crisis was really at its peak. This one was refused entry everywhere. It got stuck out at sea with its passengers on until eventually it was allowed into Cambodia. So a bit of a story behind this one. Obviously no passengers now, and it's just parked in Torbay. Oh, was that one? Bollocks. <laughs> Bollocks. Sorry, mate. That's quite all right. I was like, I won't interrupt you. No, no. Delete that bit. Okay, I'll edit it. We'll never know, we'll never know the mistake was, was made. Was okay, one. so that one over there, the story I just said.
Yeah, go for it. Five down, one to go. Looking good. Uh -huh. Not job to eat your heart out. <laughs> So another Rotterdam ship, this one is the Zandam, number six. Looking beautiful in the sunshine. That is six cruise ships in and around Tor Bay. Take it home, Captain Sean. We'll be boss. Very well. Artists, congrats to you both. Very enjoyed that. Movie. Excellent. Yeah, yeah, I just want to get my money's worth out of it, that's all. Yeah. 
Right. Let's do that again. Let's pretend that didn't happen. You can tell it's been six weeks since I drove the thing, haven't you? Yes. <laughs> I would never say that again. That is a bit all like it, doesn't it? Oh, still cocked up completely. Never mind. Yeah, we're okay. We're in. Hang on. There we go. That's been really. Sean, let it go. Let you stay there. Let it go. I'm going to have to do that again for my own satisfaction. And that is it, that is the cruise ship cruise with Sean and Elaine. Hi mum. <laughs>